Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Dylan. And I'm Tori. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's County Commissioners are moving forward with the final budget for 2020, keeping property tax rates at about 84 cents per $100 of assessed value. But the local income tax rate is being raised to around 3% in the county's $253 million budget. With the income raised, the county will get about $1 million in additional revenue, as told by Commissioner Todd Morgan. St. Mary's Hospitals have been keeping up and reaching new great qualities of care. The nonprofit LeapFrog Group rates hospitals on a letter grade scale of quality for, of service and the long-term health of their patients, where a lack of in-hospital infections and proper medication doses being stretched points for high scores. MedStar St. Mary's Hospital and University of Maryland Charles Regional Medical Center each received A's, while Calvert Medi Health Medical Center got a B, an improvement from Calvert Health C from last fall. Starting in July, the Board of Education will have a teenager on it. On July 1st, Nagina Ori, a sophomore at Leonardtown High School, will join the St. Mary's County School Board. Ori ran unopposed and was elected by the members of the St. Mary's Association of Student Council. Ori believes she'll be a good fit because of her communication and organizational talents, and her history of helping set up LHS Spirit Week, Raider Week, and the Homecoming Dance. Principal of LHS, Jill Mills, has this to say about the young board woman. Nagina stands out as a leader among her peers at Leonardtown High School and within our community. In high school sports, Leonardtown and North Point baseball teams faced off. They played in the 4A East Region Section 2 Final, in which they scored nine runs during the fifth and sixth innings. The Raiders came out with a 12-4 win and a spot in the regional championship game. The Southern Maryland Athletic Conference counties have three new girls lacrosse teams sponsored by U.S. Lacrosse. Girls lacrosse is a growing sport in Southern Maryland, and this year three, the three Maryland Metro teams will consist of 61 players from many areas across the state, including featuring some of the best players Southern Maryland has to offer. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Tori. And I'm Dylan. Signing off.